No, honey, bless your heart. They are not there to protest for my freedoms. Oh, baby girl, I did not want to do this today. But here we are. You did it. Here we are. <laughs> okay. Yes, we are standing up for your freedoms, too. Have you not seen what's going on in Australia? Do you not see the police state in Canada? Do you not see what is going on in this country? Are you blind? You think it's just a mask. It's just a vaccine. People like you are going to lead us just straight into communism. So before I begin doing the propaganda breakdown on this one, I just have to put this out there. If you're going to use communism as a threat in your propaganda, I'm going to need you to be able to define that. So this video of hers is almost about three minutes of incoherent ramblings and emotion. At no point during it does she actually show any evidence. In fact, she actually ignores evidence when she has people from Canada and Australia in her comments telling her that what she's saying about their countries is not actually going on. But her video is a prime example of a technique used in intelligence gathering, manipulation, and propaganda. It's called emotional fear. By exaggerating her expressions, amplifying her voice, getting those hyper movements, the loud hand claps, and the pleading of, do you not see? She's actually able to create a fear response in some people that will cause them to listen to her while ignoring the evidence. Now this technique obviously doesn't work on everyone, but it will sway people to her opinion without having to do any actual research. People who are on the fence about their views are going to look at this and see what they consider passion. And that's going to be convincing. And this is one of the ways that conspiracy theories spread throughout our society. Now a lot of people in my comments are probably going to say this only works on the uneducated. She's a school science teacher. She at least has a bachelor's degree. She's educated. And she still falls for this and continues to use it to spread these conspiracy theories like a virus. Emotion is a powerful motivator regardless of your education level. And emotion can be a dangerous thing. Remember, like I said in other videos, conspiracy theories lead to terrorism. I recommend you take a close look because, baby girl, we do not want it to get that far. And that's why we are trying to stand now because we do not want to be hand hand combat in the streets with our own police officers. We are trying to avoid that. And people like. So remember, when you see a video that creates an emotional charge in you, take a moment, walk away, compose your thoughts, and then research and fact check what that person is saying.